Hello everybody, we have a huge update coming to Star Wars The Old Republic starting on November 29th. This is the new expansion which will be called Knights of the Eternal Throne and it will be the 5.0 update. Everything I'm going to talk about in this update video is going to have links in the description of this video so you can click on any of those if you want more info. There's going to be nine new story chapters focusing on the royal family with Valen, Arkin, Senya, and of course, continuing the war that you started in the previous chapters. You're gonna have early access to the story on November 29th, if you've been subscribed continuously from October 25th to November 27th. Otherwise, you'll have to wait till December 2nd. If you haven't played the 16 chapters of Knights of the Fallen of Empire yet, you should do that first. Knights of the Eternal Throne is a sequel. The expansion allows you to level to level 70, and to unlock the expansion and the new story chapters, all you have to do is subscribe. You don't need to buy it in any way, just be subscribed to unlock it at least once. On November 29th, we'll also get a bunch of rewards that we've been promised over time. If you are subbed on October 25th, you'll get a Shea Fizzler companion. If you're subscribed November 27th, you'll get the Rapid Recon Walker mount. And if you did the Light vs. Dark event, you'll get the rest of your rewards you are promised, including the new companion if you did up to the Eternal tier. All of these rewards will pop up in your mail on all your characters, even any new level 1 ones you create. Don't forget, this expansion update will be the end of the Dark vs. Light event that happened over the summer, so if you've got any last minute tasks you gotta finish up, now is the time. The new expansion is also bringing a huge change to the way gear is gained and progression is made at max level. The new system is called Galactic Command, it's a new big panel that helps you more easily hop into different types of content like heroics and flashpoints and operations and pvp, you can get to them all from one part of the interface now. Gear is no longer dropped directly from bosses and flashpoints or operations anymore, and you don't buy pvp gear with pvp commendations anymore either. Instead, doing almost any activity in the game will gain you Galactic Command experience points and every so many points you will earn a Galactic Command Loot Crate. The crate will have a random piece of gear in it, related to your advanced class and current combat role. Tanks get tanks gear, healers get healer gear. Unfortunately, the gear is pretty random, but if you get a piece you don't like, you can disintegrate it and earn back some points. You can't buy the pieces you need with crystals or commendations anymore, or do specific ops to get specific set bonus pieces, you kinda have to rely on the RNG. The harder the content, or the bigger the group you're in, the more command experience points you should get. There's also no more expertise gear for war zones. PvP and PvE gear are now combined into one set. When you log in on November 29th, you'll have no more commendations, no more war zone commendations, no more data crystals. These are getting turned into credits with a maximum of 2 million credits per character. Because of this credit boon, expect inflation on the GTN as everyone gets a bunch of free credits. Cosmetic things are going to be way more expensive than normal. There's also a big update to crafting. As per usual, you can't craft the best stuff in the game, but you can craft some really good stuff a couple tiers below. So if you're a crafter or a more solo player, you're probably okay this expansion, it's gonna be really nice for you. Schematics for the new gear come from the Galactic Command Crates, and the materials are also earned through Command Crates. But the mods can be reverse engineered as usual with materials earned from Operations or PvP. There's no new PvP content in this expansion, but there is going to be the Season 7 Competitive Ranked PvP rewards which include a cool Ackley mount and a yellow-blue lightsaber crystal. Even if you didn't participate in Ranked PvP, keep your eyes on the fleet for people uh, using these really cool new mounts and... <laughs> okay, crystals. Uprisings are similar to Flashpoints, but they're a lot more fast-paced and a majority of the bosses have mechanics to watch out for. I had a chance to try one out during the PTS and it was actually really fun. There's no cutscenes, just voiceovers and you go quickly from boss to boss. A neat new feature is that both the new uprisings, the new chapters, and the old Knights of the Fallen Empire chapters, you can toggle the difficulty of these to make them harder. That's pretty cool, especially because they said the veteran modes are actually really hard for the story chapters, and I guess we'll see exactly how hard they are when they come out. As far as I can tell, you can play these new uprisings even if you're preferred, but you might need to be level 70, which requires subscribing. You don't get as much command experience as the other players, but you do get a command experience crate, which you can just hoard in your inventory until the next time you subscribe. Speaking of the chapters though, all of the chapters from this expansion and the last are now replayable, so you can try them out on different difficulties 
or to get that perfect screenshot that you want. Only the first playthrough counts for your personal story, so don't worry about trying those evil choices out that you just wanted to see what happens. There's also a brand new system attached to the Galactic Command system called Dark vs. Light. This is a server-wide battle, and you can join either side through your dark or light side alignment. When either the dark or the light starts to win, things will change around the galaxy. For example, you may begin to see dark side enemies emerging and attacking, such as a Sith Lord ready to strike against the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. When your side reaches the final tier together of Dark vs. Light, you unlock rewards like bonus command XP and access to special cosmetic vendors. If you're on the losing side, you gain access to special enemies spawning around the galaxy and your team is given a short-term bonus advantage to make it easier for you to catch up and try and win again. To sum things up, there will be 9 more story chapters which you'll need to sub at least once to unlock, a new way of earning gear progressing that you need to be subscribed actively to use, the Galactic Command System, a new type of group content similar to Flashpoints called Uprisings, and a new Dark vs. Light War that is server-wide, and don't forget crafting and new level 70. See you in game on November 29th, guys! And with all that new content, there comes a channel update for the Sateresa YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, I create videos about how to play all the different parts of Star Wars The Old Republic, from crafting to collecting. And I'm really happy to say I've covered all the really important topics I wanted to cover. The last big top I wanted to get done was PvP, and it's done now. I actually have two more episodes recorded about the cartel market and collections, but I, with the new expansion coming out, I'm putting them on hold to record the new content. Videos before were coming out roughly every Monday for the last nine months, but with the new expansion, it's going to take me time to break down the new content, including the Galactic Command system, the Dark vs. Light system, and a new list of things to do at level 70. After that, I'll be going back and updating the older episodes like how to gear up, and what the differences between preferred and free-to-play are. So expect videos to come out a little more sporadically. I also got invited to the Sator Influencer program, you might have heard about it on some other channels. Part of the offer was to receive a free subscription, but I turned that part down so my videos would be 100% me and not flagged as a sponsored video or advertisement. Instead, Bioware just occasionally features my content in Twitter or their dev streams, which is pretty cool. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your support. Being able to read your comments from you guys every day and seeing the subscriber count go up makes it really, really fun to do this. It makes me really happy and really makes it feel like it's worth taking the time to make all these videos. So cheers to all of you and let's go into Knights of the Eternal Throne together. See you soon!